And now I will call uh, Pierre and Nicola from Journalism Plus Plus to present, uh, pitch their, their startup in five minutes for you. So please. Uh, hi everyone, my name is Pierre and I'm developer at Journalism Plus Plus. I'm really sorry, but I'm going to make the presentation in French. So, bonjour à tous. Uh, Good afternoon to everyone. I'd like to talk to you about one of our projects called Fuel. This is a crowdsourcing platform in Cameroon. It has to do with electricity uh, issues. The problem, what we observed in Cameroon, is that there are many power cuts. Now, uh, surveys have been carried out. Some say there's a power cut every 10 days. Others say there's a power cut every three days. Nobody knows for sure the actual situation. There are no reliable data on this. So what did we do? We tried to go find the information where it's located through crowdsourcing, asking users what uh, the uh, grid looked like, what the network, uh, whether it was up or not. We tried, wanted to use existing tools. There was nothing that we, we had that was available. There was Cosmo, Yushaid. Neither of them really met our needs. We didn't really like them. So we decided to create Fuel. Fuel is a platform, an API, which we use to gather the data. Let's talk about how it works. Fuel doesn't wait for the user to come to us. Fuel asks the users through text messages, uh, has there been uh, a power cut today? This is through SMS or through yes, USSD, another mobile pro protocol, also XMPP, which is a chat protocol. So the question, Fuel asks the user, did you experience a power cut today? If so, how long did it last? So using these questions, we can really test problems, sort of do a diagnosis of uh, these power cuts. We're testing this in Douala right now in Cameroon. It'll be tested until October 2012. Then we're going to be roll this out. It's to be roll, can be rolled out basically everywhere, like like a, a WordPress blog you can put on your server. It's open source. If you've got the uh, URL to get the source code, it can also be used to measure all kinds of other things, such as water uh, shortages or inflation or wages. Basically, any type of data you might need, you can use fuel to get that data through crowdsourcing. It's financed by the International Press Institute, developed by our team with Tezobi in Berlin, Internet Without Borders in Paris, Wazamundi in Cameroon, and then our company called Journalism Plus uh, Plus, which is between Paris and Berlin. Just briefly to talk to you about Journalism Plus Plus, it's a company we jointly founded, Pierre and myself, six months ago after spending about two years at OVNI. Journalism Plus Plus is a company specialized in data journalism. Specifically, our mission statement is to support media, bringing them toward this marvelous, wonderful world full of data we've talked about in the last few days. We do projects such as Fuel, we just talked about, uh, open source media so the media can then re reuse these. The, we've got a data visualization project called Data Wrap Up, another uh, source, uh, another thing finance from Germany. We're also working with AFP to do some Twitter mapping projects. We've also got uh, assignments for training in journalism schools and established media. We also work in consultancy. So in all these various different areas, we try to support the media, help them toward innovation, support them so that they can be successful with their vision of data journalism. So feel free to come talk to us about any issues you might have regarding data. But obviously you can uh, talk to us in English. Donc n'hésitez pas, nous restons là. So feel free and we'll be here all this afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nicola and Pierre. And now I'm calling Stefan from Yes Future to, to pitch uh, Yes Future for us now. Stefan. Hi, uh, my name is Stefan. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to Yes Future, a tool that was selected in the Startup for News program. 
Yes Future is a tool that was designed to replace forums and common blocks in digital ecosystems. Uh, today, forum and common blocks are flat, digitally isolated, and with limited interaction, and with many useless posts. While in real life, people love to debate, uh, they need expert point of views, and news go too fast. We ask ourselves, could debate become a new kind of digital entertainment? Yes, Future was designed as a multi-site, multi-device micro-forum tool to animate conversations and debates online. Yes, Future is available in two platforms, in two uh, formats, formats, a widget and a platform. The widget can be placed in any website and replaces the comment and forum blocks, blocks below news articles and videos. It can be placed in any other websites by a simple cut and paste embedding uh, system. The platform is designed to follow and manage user discussions. Users can follow their accounts, contact lists, and favorite tags, medias, and writers through this platform. What are the key benefits of Yes Future for the media? One of the key benefits of Yes Future for the media is that a discussion can be placed on multiple websites. All the contributions in the widgets uh, are, appear simultaneously. A discussion can therefore be shared with other media and partners such as institutions and sponsors. And all the actors of an ecosystem can be invited to contribute to a collective discussion and benefit from an overall visibility. And finally, within a media, uh, multiple news articles can be related to one unique discussion. Yes, Future provides many functionalities um, to use discussion as a digital entertainment. Animators can manage the life cycle of their discussions. A 140 character boundary makes contributions more readable and usable. Users can easily follow multiple debates from their Yes Future dashboard, from their social media, and from their mobiles. And Yes Future options can be used as tool for CRM incentive and subscription programs. With Yes Future, um, the media can penetrate social media networks and recover private audience share. And media can take the lead on hot topics by inviting key players of an ecosystem, such as experts, bloggers, and politics. And post-discussion data mining can restitute trends and new viewpoints that provide insights on the topic. We're going, we're available for beta this month, uh, and we'll be happy after the presentation to show you our functionalities and usage scenarios like uh, battles between readers of different media.